your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Cat Islanders Association on Grand Bahama remembering the life and legacy of Sir Sidney Poitier. The retired actor, film director, activist and ambassador became Hollywood's first black movie star and the first black male and Bahamian actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor. Past president of the association Rudolph Stubbs and member Oscar Campbell reflected on his many contributions to the Bahamas including his role in the fight for majority rule. Sir Sidney Poitier was very instrumental in helping Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinland achieved that majority rule. And him and his friends got together and mobilized and got all the walkie talkies that was needed to help the word to be passed around as to what the initiative was and what was needed to do. You may remember that, that Sydney created four scholarships, two for children out of the bight and two for children out of, out of Alistair High School. And these, and these scholarships were issued every year to students to allow, them, uh, to allow them to study in Nassau. In addition to that, Sydney also, also provided the funding for the first family marching band. Members Cabrina Adderley Barry and Philip Ambrister shared fond memories of Sir Sydney. My memory of, of Sidney Poitier would have been uh, at a function we held at the Princess Towers Hotel at luncheon. And the, whole, the entire association was there, and so I would have met him there. I lived a stone throw away from the house that Sidney grew up in, which was out near the beach. I had to pass it to go to the sea where we spend most of our spare time during the summer holidays. Now Sir Sidney Poitier passed away on January 6th at the age of 94. Former SACME program coordinator and Rotary Club member Dennis Knowles has passed away. Knowles has been an integral part of the SACME competition on Grand Bahama for a number of years, and he is known for putting service above self as a member of the Rotary Club. Tonight, Rotarians are saluting Knowles, whom they call a giant of a man. Jamila Mizek has this report. Rotarians paying tribute to former SACME program coordinator and fellow Rotarian Dennis Knowles. Rotary Area Governor Billy Jean Ferguson says Knowles was special to Rotary, especially the Rotary Club of Lukaya, with his initiatives. The SECME and the AIM program and those programs allowed students um, to go off to college and to, to get a you know, better education. One of his passion or his many passions um, were the mousetrap and the rocket competition and he would organize that and find the sponsors to, to make sure that those programs went on. One of his other things he did was he found scholarship and he partnered with Kettering University in Michigan and, and they afforded um, Bahamians from the island of Grand Bahama, Nassau and Abaco and Andrus the opportunity to attend those schools. She says he was a mentor to her. The thing that I've learned from Dennis is to ignite that passion every year, find the thing that that you love doing the most and he was one of my mentors who who taught me what it meant to make a commitment and and keep it especially in Rory especially with the young people um, he taught me a lot about fundraising and to me he was a father figure and I am gonna miss him tremendously his contribution and, and just his presence and the wealth of knowledge that that he had in reference to Rotary and all things humanitarian Rotarian Christine van der Linde says she knew Knowles for many years and he was instrumental in her development as a Rotarian. He was a, an enormous help and a great mentor, especially during my time when I was president. And um, also uh, when I started the club um, with three other ladies, the Rotary Club of Grand Bahama, Dennis was instrumental in helping me behind the scenes, giving me sound advice on Rotary and the way forward. Um, so we've come a long way together 
and certainly you know I will miss him greatly um, without a doubt like all of us in Rotary but um, he's been a pillar of strength for all of us and a giant, I call him the quiet giant. Rotary Club of Lukaya President-elect Inika Johnson says Knowles will be greatly missed. Rotary's legacy, um, where well, I can say for the Rotary Club of Lukaya and Dennis's legacy is that he's left his mark on earth. He was truly, truly a gift to the club, the community at heart, and he cared. He genuinely cared about the youth and he instituted programs that will continue even in his absence. Now Rotarians will honor Knowles in a virtual memorial service. Jamila Mizik, ZNS Network News. Finally in news, the ladies of pink and green, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated celebrating its Founders Day this past Saturday. With 119 years of service, the first Black Greek Sorority's local chapter, Pi Upsilon Omega President Yvonne Pearson and Vice President Regina Campbell shares how once again they are doing their part to uplift women in the community. The members of Pi Upsilon Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated are packing pretty period packages for members of our society. Last year, during the month of June and July, this was one of our initiatives and we, it took a long time, but we'd also like to thank all of those who would have contributed to this initiative. We got so many items, and so we're able to now give to the community as well as to the school children. Parison and Campbell also share us what is included in the package and why it is so important at this time. Masks, sanitary napkins, hand sanitizers, affirmations for young ladies, and so much more. It's important because, first of all, we are a service organization and we are sisterly and so we want to share this and these items are extremely expensive here in Grand Bahama and so we are so pleased to be able to share this as one of our initiatives to start this year in this island. Well done, ladies, and congrats on your 119 years of service. Your evening sports report is next with Jay Philippe. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. We have updates from a number of athletes from Grand Bahama, from high school sports to college sports, but let's start this one from the pro ranks. Shaquille Shaq Fritz is in his second year as a professional basketball player. The 6'8 forward is currently in Spain playing in one of the top tier Spanish leagues. Now with the regular season coming to a close, the former St. George's Jaguar who finished his collegiate career at the University of Pacific gave us this update. We're about to go into playoffs soon, finishing up the rest of the season um, between uh, this month and next month. Then uh, we got the playoffs. Hopefully we could get uh, top eight and then, um, you know, um, try to try to compete to, to go to lab, lab goal. Um, right now, uh, you know, all the teams battling and trying to trying to fit in for the for the top eight. So, you know, uh, this year is very, very competitive, very, um, you know, is is different from, from, you know, the previous years because, you know, we got a lot of talented players coming from the G League and different places where they played, you know, in high level places. And, you know, um, this this year should be, be a, uh, you know, a really good year for basketball in this division, but uh, also, um, you know, just, just in general, you know, uh, here in Spain, so. Sticking with Hoops Action, combo guard Adrian Martin Barrow at Evangel University in Missouri was named Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Player of the Week. The Grand Bay native averaged 20 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, and 3.5 assists in two games last week, shooting 54% from the field, including 6 of 13 from three-point range. Evangel will be in action again January 19th when they travel to Parksville, Missouri for another Heart Conference game against Park University. 
And finally in sports, 12-year-old LaBria Sands continues to turn heads in the state of Florida in softball. LaBria recently made the CF Stars national team as one of the top pitchers her team is working and preparing for the busy spring summer season that begins at the end of the month. Her first game is scheduled to take place in Longwood, Florida, followed by seven out-of-state tournaments. She is also expected to compete in the USSA Elite Double Double Tournament in Altamont Springs, Florida. That's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.